What's going on guys? Matt here from Come Elite and today I'm with Olivier Cassidy. What's up mate? And he is the youngest guy on the Waterside Karori team. Tyler is right behind the camera. You guys already met Tyler, but today we're doing five essential first touch drills. Boom. So drill number one is called the one by one box drill. In this drill, you're gonna create a one by one yard box by placing four cones on the ground with a partner about five yards away from you. On go, your partner will fire in a decently weighted pass on the ground and you will attempt to control the ball inside of the square using only one touch. Once you do so, pass the ball back to your partner and repeat. To make the drill harder or easier, have your partner adjust the weight of their pass. This is a great drill for working on basic fundamentals on controlling a pass perfectly each time. And it might look very easy and mundane, but this is consistently done by professional soccer players at the highest level. The difference is that the pros completely focus on making the perfectly weighted touch every single time and challenge themselves to strive for absolute perfection. Drill number two is called the octagon drill. For this drill, place eight cones on the ground to create an octagon that's about five yards in diameter and have a partner about five to 10 yards in front of you with a ball. On go, your partner will fire in a pass on the ground and you will take a touch through the front two cones and pass the ball back to your partner. Immediately after the pass, return to the center of the octagon and have your partner pass you the ball again. This time, instead, you will now take a touch through the next set of cones and pass the ball back to your partner once again. You will repeat this pattern either clockwise or counterclockwise until you've gone through each set of cones around the octagon. In the back portion of the octagon, you can either pass the ball once you exit the cones or turn, bring the ball back to the center, and then pass the ball back to your partner. Mix it up, be creative, just try to make it realistic and sharp. I love this drill as it works on taking my first touch into space through a predetermined small section. And if you can consistently have a great first touch into space, you will free up so much time and space for yourself in an actual game. Drill number three is called the three cone high step. There are so many variations of this drill, but I mainly like to focus on four. A one touch pass on the ground, a two touch pass on the ground, a one touch pass in the air, and a two touch pass in the air. Feel free to do any variation that you like, add one or two touches in the air with your laces, thighs, chest, head, whatever, just get creative. In this drill, you're gonna place three cones in a line with about a foot of space in between them. I have two partners about three to five yards away from me on either side, but this can also be done with a single partner if they move side to side along with you. On go, you will laterally high step through the cones until both feet are outside of the last cone. Your partner will then pass you the ball on the ground or in the air, and you will either hit a pass first time back to them or take two touches depending on the variation. Use your right foot on the right side and your left foot on the left side. Focus on hitting a perfect pass back to your partner's foot or back to your partner's hands every single time. This drill is great for working on fast feet and while also working to fine tune your touch and control when your legs start to get tired and heavy. Again, this is another staple drill done by professionals. Drill number four is called the man on drill. Now it's best when done with a defender on your back and a partner to pass you the ball, but if you're alone, you can also just straight up pretend there's a defender on your back and feed a pass into yourself using a wall. Same with a lot of these drills. Get creative when you're training by yourself. For this drill, stand about 15 to 20 yards away from your partner with a defender directly behind you. On go, step into your defender, push off slightly and check towards the ball. Have the defender mix up following you tightly, staying back, pressing to your left or your right side. As you check towards the ball, your teammate will feed you in a pass on the ground and yell out an instruction like man on, turn, left shoulder, right shoulder, or some other agreed upon terminology. You will listen for the command and react accordingly. Mix up your turns and challenge the defender to apply high pressure on you. This is a fantastic drill that replicates game realistic first touches, turns, and control under pressure. Drill number five is called the long ball trap. Create about a five by 10 yard rectangle anywhere from 18 to 25 yards away from a goal. Have a partner or two partners stand out wide on the end line with the balls at their feet. On go, have your partner hit in a pass either firmly on the ground, driven, or lofted so that it enters into the box. You will then try to control the ball with as few touches as possible and then fire a shot on goal. Right now I'm recovering from a left adductor surgery and I'm unable to hit a left footed shot, but I challenge you guys to use both your left and your right foot to trap and shoot the ball in this drill. This drill aims to work on your control of longer range and more difficult passes while also getting you to quickly transition to a shot or a pass after that first touch. Challenge yourself to make it more game realistic and pretend you only have a very short amount of time to get that shot off before you are closed down by imaginary defenders. 
So I hope you guys got a lot out of this video and you can use it to improve your own first touch and skill. And speaking of improving skills, I want to introduce Skillshare, who were kind enough to sponsor this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with over 17,000 classes in photography, advertising, business, video editing, etc. And premium membership gives you unlimited access to high quality classes from experts in their respective fields. Now you guys know me, you know I really don't do that many advertisements unless I really believe in the product and I do believe in Skillshare's product. Well, a few weeks ago, I made an account to test it out and I watched a few Premiere Pro editing videos mainly by Jordy Vandeput. And I learned a lot of new techniques which actually I implemented in this video. So if you're wondering why this video is a little bit higher quality, it's because of Skillshare. And one of the best things about Skillshare that I found is that you don't have to pay for each individual course or video. For just $10 a month, you can watch as many courses as you could possibly want to watch. But yo, Matt, like $10 is kind of a lot. Well, guess what, homie? The first 500 people to click the link in my description and sign up for Skillshare can get the first two months of their platform for just 99 cents. That's right, bro. As long as you're just one of the first 500 people, you only have to pay a dollar for two months of unlimited classes. That's a pretty good deal. So if you guys are interested in learning any skills from business to advertising to photography to video editing, I suggest you take advantage of this deal. Click the link in my description and sign up for Skillshare. And once again, a big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Let's head back to the field. That's five essential first touch drills. I hope you guys like the video. I'm going to leave it to my two friends over here to give the outro. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. See you next time. I mean, this is just gonna get stolen. Wait, just That's not gonna get stolen. Bed. Yeah, because look, your body's... Kim did that turn yesterday. Right, redo it, redo it, redo it. Last turn, watch. I know, redo the turn you just did. Just uh, replay so. exactly what you just did. <laughs> you big them. Put yeah, that on the huge. There's like a 50 50.